basically at trial, the way I was portrayed, everything, mostly everything was lies. There was a little bit of truth, but mostly I was convicted off of lies. Camille Gamet was still trying to make her case, even after a jury convicted her in March of first-degree murder for stabbing her boyfriend, Marcel Hill, in the spring of 2012. Gamet claims it was self-defense. I also remember the cries of help that he screamed as you plunged that knife in and out of his body. But as family members read a letter to Gamet, she could be seen rolling her eyes and even laughing. And you're going to shut your mouth or I'm going to have some duct tape put on it. Well, he attacked me. All right, we'll wait here for a moment so we can get her quiet. No duct tape was found. We have no choice but to send her where she will also die. I can't believe she stands before you doing this this morning. Please. Judge John McBain says it's one of the worst cold-blooded murders he's ever seen. I tell you, you gutted him like a fish in that apartment too. You were relentless. You stabbed. You stabbed. You stabbed. You stabbed. You stabbed until he was dead. A brutal act which Judge McBain says she'll pay for with without life in prison parole. without parole. Gammon and her attorney understood a life sentence was merely a formality. I understand you have to do what you have to do. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. You know, if this was a death penalty state, you'd be getting the chair. And the family says justice is served today with a lesson to all. Abuse can come in all forms, regardless of gender. In Jackson, Nick Perot, 6 News.